All right, guys, so in this video, I have with me Amanda Campbell. She is a first time Myrtle Beach oceanfront condo investor. She bought right here at the Grand Cayman. We're sitting on site in the Starbucks. Now, guys, in this video, she's gonna talk to us all about those HOA fees that everyone's afraid of. She's gonna talk to us about uh, the nightmare guest, her very first client. We're also gonna hop into gross rental income, operating expenses you i'm going to you know cover all those taxes appreciation depreciation you name it we're going to cover it right here at the tail end of the video let's get into this video now have you ever had to deal with any difficult or unethical practices from other investors in the vacation rental market has anybody targeted any of your listings have you had any weird you know things happen with guests on site at grand cayman no i think i'm still new in i don't have quite the experience but i haven't had to deal with any anything like that so far. All right. What's the biggest mistake that you see investors making? Hmm. Um, taking too long to make a decision. You're saying <laughs> the thing that I, I mean, I hear this all, the average, in in my opinion, the average, average investor probably spends two years waiting to purchase an oceanfront condo. It's their first time doing it. They're afraid. They've got fifty thousand dollars saved. They got the down payment money. It's sitting there in their bank account. They're not getting hardly any interest on it. They're actually losing money in inflation, like, and they feel a whole lot more comfortable with that fifty thousand dollars sitting in their bank account. Mm -hmm. I get it. I, dude, I totally get it. At the same token, you can be like Jason King, who had fifty thousand dollars sitting in his bank account, and he was sleeping well, but he kept watching. He he is a local lender. He kept watching all these people buy these oceanfront condos and they're making money. And he finally took took the plunge. He's got a 15% down program. You heard me right, 15% down. He took the plunge. Guess what? He bought a $169,000 condo. He had some clients that were looking at it. They didn't buy it. He turned around and bought it, right? <laughs> he ended up making $11,000 in profit his first 10 months wow. on a $169,000 condo. His down payment at 15% down, I'm gonna do some quick math for you guys, 169 times 0.15. He paid $25,350 down. Yes, he had some loan, some loan costs, some closing costs, something like that too. Guys, he's now got an asset that's generating him $11,000 a year. In, two, in, in three years, he will get all of those fees back all that money back in his account plus he's got an asset that has grown in appreciation that has been you know he's built a nice nest egg every single year paying that that payment and on top of that he's got his money back yeah plus he's writing it off on his taxes depreciation i mean like it's a win all the way around so don't be that guy don't be that girl who sits there and waits for two years to pick up the phone and call me and go you know i've really wanted to buy this unit and you know, I waited. I, I had a client. He he wanted to buy pre-COVID, didn't buy. Came back after COVID, a few years later, bought the same exact unit he planned on buying for a hundred thousand dollars more. That was me though. Um, so I looked during COVID. I had a different agent down here, and um, she was more of like a you know, this is your forever home kind of agent, not an investor agent. And I walked away because it was so hard for me and to to make a decision. And I regret that because I could have had this beachfront condo for a lot cheaper than what I bought it. And yeah. wouldn't that be great? If I had met you a couple of years ah, ago, man. I kicked myself. <laughs> yes, and there there is a difference in in uh, in just an average agent that sells everything at the beach and an investor agent. Mm -hmm. I am an investor agent. I'm going to help run all your numbers. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'll help you understand you know buying it with cash versus financing, appreciation, depreciation. I will I will do all that for you guys make the process simple and easy for you and since i specialize this and do nothing but really pretty much work with investors i'm going to have a whole lot more insight and knowledge than just your average realtor that sells anything because all i do is hear stories constantly from from investors just like you hopefully um and uh you know and i'll give you all the, all that valuable insight guys okay so just so what's the biggest failure that you see people making, investors making? Biggest failure, um, not, you're in the short term rental market, it's all about details. Um, you can, you can, you can't just go and buy something and then turn it around and have it on the market. You do have to put a little money into it. 
I hear a lot of horror stories about people staying in Myrtle Beach. Like, you've got to put a little bit of money into it to make it look good. Like, I had mine painted because there were a lot of scuffs on the wall. Um, I bought all new dishware, all new pots and pans and things just so I could give it like that clean feeling. So, I think the biggest failure you could be make it, you could make is not paying attention to details. S simple touches. Mm -hmm. Very simple touches. Even changing the pillows. I the, the, the pillows that were in my condo were, were hideous orange, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to pay ten bucks for these Amazon pillows, and it changed the way that the apartment looks. It's too easy, right? Yeah. And there, there's cost-effective ways to do it. Right. Absolutely. Exactly. And now, and and you used our contractor. How, how did that go? Did he do a good job painting for you? He did a fantastic job considering what he was going through at the time. I know he had some, yeah, some he did things have some come up. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, I was like, he did a really good job and I really love the paint job. I Wonderful. mean, I would recommend him. Um, very honest guy. If yeah, he's he, super honest. Yeah, if he, if the job isn't up to your standards, he'll he come back come and do back it again. As yeah. many times as you need. I, and I tell people that I'm like, I don't got to worry about when using Chris. I don't have to worry about if he's going to do a good job. Like I can tell, I can say, hey, use this contractor. And my name's on the line, you know, I'm yeah. saying like, use this person. And he will, if he makes a mistake, he will come back and he will fix it. He will get it right. Yeah, he will. Which is, which is a, you know, it's a huge comfort uh, uh, for me. And I can imagine also for our, our, our uh, you know, our guests, our investors, definitely. Yep. And I just said that I, I need to call him because I need to have my shower door replaced and uh, his wife will eventually do my interior decorating when I'm ready. But I've made that profit and I can <laughs> change the furniture and everything. Absolutely. So and I, Sam is great at that too. Yeah. So if you could go back and give your younger self one piece of advice when it comes to investing, what's the piece of advice? Stay calm. Just stay calm. Like 100% hands down. If you got the right person like Brandon here, you're in good hands. Just stay calm. I know it's uh, uncomfortable. It's a lot of money. It's it's you know like it's it's a lot of like ifs too. Like what if the market goes bad or whatever? Just just roll with it. Just go with it. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. So you know out, outside of a crash, you know like obviously the market does crash. It has crashed before. Outside of that, guys. A lot of this stuff is just routine history. Mm -hmm. You know, like for Oceanfront Condo Investors, and I was just talking to Gosha. She told me that she made her best investment purchase right after a hurricane. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, that's that's a time when everybody else is running from the Oceanfront Condos. They're going, oh no, we're going to sell, we're going to get out of this, this, you know, this damage, blah, 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 blah. The insurance covers all that stuff, guys. For a serious investor, they're not buying into all the hoopla and the hype, and they're running towards that opportunity when everybody else, the crowd, is running away. So yeah, stay calm, read through the lines, and it's just routine history. If there's not a market crash happening, guys, then this is all the stuff that's going on is the stuff that's been going on for at Myrtle Beach condos have been running for years and years and years and years. This has been a vacation destination for years and years and years and years. This is a tourist town. So it's routine history, literally. Like, don't don't freak out about special assessments or, you know, obviously you don't want to have to pay a special assessment. Uh -oh, nobody does. Nobody <laughs> does. But most likely it's going to make sure that things are running well. It's taking care of things. It's making sure your pool doesn't have a crack in it. You know, it's, it's, it's value added things. But that's just standard. That's the cost of doing business in this game. It's routine history. So stay calm, stay focused, partner with the right people. I'm here to help you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you invest. I'm gonna make sure that you don't step on a landmine or do something silly or stupid. I have tons of, you know, and, and I will go round and round in circles with these with, with, with clients sometimes. You know, well, you know, and I, I will I will call them or they'll call me and pick up the phone and call me, 843-360-1737. That's my cell phone number. They'll, you know, I'll, they'll call me right off of YouTube and I'll lay it out plain and simple for them. You know, you need to buy here, here, and here, based on what you're telling me, based on your price range, this is what you want. Then they'll, you know, have to start the journey on their own and do their own research and figure this out. And, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, and I don't blame you. Yes, I expect you to do your own due diligence. At the same token, I can save you so much time if you'll just listen to the numbers and the hard data I'm gonna give you. Cause I'm gonna give you all numbers. I'm not gonna, you know, I mean, some of the stuff will be my opinion based off the many interactions I've had with investors and people I've interviewed and 
helping people buy and run ocean for condos and all, all, all that sort of thing. But, but like, guys, I can save you so much time if you'll just listen to what I have to say. I'm gonna, you don't have to worry about the locations. You don't have to worry about the amenities. You don't have to worry about that. All that's gonna be factored into the advice I give you. So pick up the phone. Don't be a stranger. It's 843-360-1737. Give me a call. Don't sit on the sidelines for two years. Let me make this simple and easy for you. Let's get in unit 1161 right here at the Grand Cayman Resort. Guys, as soon as you walk in, you're going to see beautiful LVP flooring throughout. We do have a room to our left. We also have the kitchen and living room and master straight ahead. And then to our right, we do have our very our, our next bedroom. Guys, you see right here, it's well decorated, absolutely stunning. As you can see, beautiful decor, nice modern lamps. Now there is very cool sliding doors here for the closet, which I like a lot. A nice modern feel, as you can see. In our other bedroom, this has double beds in it, as you can see here. Again, nice artwork on the walls for contrasting colors in those photos. It is very nice and modern and updated. It does parlay right into the restroom. Now, gorgeous tile in here, as you can see. It's kind of Jack and Jillish. Check, check this out. Check this that is a nice, nice tub shower combo. Again, beautiful decor. Nice granite. Another granite shelf underneath, as you can see. Everything is modern and, and very well updated. Now, make sure miss this. Right in the middle nook, we have a linen closet. Super cool, it's kind of built in. All right, guys, with the kitchen, the dining room, living room. Let's start with the kitchen, guys. As you can see, all the cabinetry is updated in modern. It's got nice, nice hardware on it. Beautiful backsplash. Again, granite right here, very, very nice. Undermount sink. And it's just the colors make it pop. Now, as we come into the dining room, again, beautiful accent wall on that back wall. I don't know if you guys are checking that out. Gorgeous, well extended accent wall beautiful dining room table with a nice modern fixture beautiful contrasting colors in decor which is huge guys we'll see hanging on that wall and then again she's got the contrasting colors in the living room with the green chairs and the blue picture it just really ties it all in well and causes it to pop as you can see now there is a beautiful gorgeous balcony here very very spacious as you can see and it does tie around into the master. Check that out, which, which we're gonna get into in just a minute. But I did want you to see the view right from the balcony. All right, guys, look at those colors. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Flat screen TV. Again, very, very modern, updated lamps. Something super cool that I enjoy about these lamps. They have little LED lights on them, which is super, super cool. Now notice how the picture above the bed ties into the pillow on the bed. Notice how the paint on the walls ties into very well with the curtains. It all flows together consistently. Now, this unit has its own restroom, of course, as the master. You do have an owner's closet here, as you can see. To our right, we have built-ins, as you can see. Very, very cool. And then again, gorgeous tile in those wet areas. Nice granite, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful sink, beautiful modern vanity. Great decor. And then we have our shower. You can see, very nice and tile. All right, guys, well, that basically wraps it up for this three bedroom, two bathroom right here at the Grand Cayman Resort. If you want to see the next video with Amanda Campbell, then click on the video on your screen now.